Honestly, guys, I didn't have plan to come here, but here I am. Just see how I landed up here. Sometimes you have you don't have to plan to plan, right? I mean, do it make sense? I mean, just enjoy this vlog. <laughs> One tip when you all hike in the snow, always make sure you foot in your heels before your toes so that you don't sit. I should be like this. Ah, so this is what I have been doing for the past few days, just hiking in the snow. Finally! Oh my gosh, it was a good run. Good run. Oh, and I'm sweating like a pig right now. Oh my god, guys, so this trail, um, the trail towards Wangtze is one of my favorite. There's nothing much to do during lockdown, so all we can do is just like walk and just like run to keep ourselves healthy and fit and this is the view of Thimpo Town. Welcome to Wandi Tzedlako. This time of the year it looks very sad because there was this wildfire uh, some months ago which led to blackout blacking out this place i don't know is there any word called blackout but yeah so this place it's actually it's very fascinating when there was this wildfire all the uh, bushes and trees around this vicinity was burned out literally burned out living this glorious Laka to itself. It was left unburned, nothing happened except to the areas, surrounding areas. So it's very fascinating, isn't it? Like, it's a miracle, miracle, true miracle. Oh, my cameraman is falling asleep. You need to hold the camera like this. So yeah, it's true miracle. Come on, just, before it was like last minute, now it's no bad. So guys, this is one little laka and it is one laka where I have been more than I don't know hundred times. I've been here several times. In fact, the trail that leads me to this laka. So I come here often. Very often. But this time the laka is closed. Of course, due to the lockdown, we are not allowed to enter inside the Lhaka, but I guess we can sneak out there and just like take a rest. Come, let's go. So this place, I get very emotional when I come here. This place is one place uh, 
that defines my height away every time I get so stressed and stuff. I just come here because this is the only place where I find it very peaceful and quiet. And right now, because it's locked down, there's like no car. It's only dogs barking. There's no one, not, not many people coming here. We didn't meet anyone except, no, we didn't meet anyone. And right now, when you look at the city, it's like dead, literally dead. There's no car moving. There's no light. It's like, it's so quiet. It's so quiet. Come, I'll just show you guys. This is a place where you can actually sit and usually I bring like a cup of tea, coffee and sit here and cherish. And opposite to me, oh my God, okay, let me show this. So the beauty about this place is right there. It's um, Tashi Chezong right there. And this whole Timpo city and then that's the BBS tower. So we actually started to run from that point and it took us uh, maybe 15 minutes to actually get here. And there is this Wangditse Laka. Okay, so let me briefly talk about this Laka. I'm not an expert, but let me show you all the things that I know and I read about this Laka. This is one of the oldest and ancient temple here in Tempo and it was one of the seats of Desi Tenzi Rabge which dates back to like 16th century so see how old it is and then um, one of the devastating thing about this Laka is it was actually raised down by fire I don't know there's like fire every most of the time many sacred places in Bhutan it's always raised down by fire just like Paro Takchang, a uh, few Lakas in Bumtang and so is this this Laka so it was raised down by fire however under the patronage of our Queen Mother it was rebuilt and the project started probably in 2012 and the fun fact is that people from 20 Zongkak actually came here to build this laka. I mean, is that not fascinating? So it is a very community driven initiative to rebuild this laka. And last year during our Prince fifth birth anniversary, this laka was renovated. And ever since Denka has been like coming here, I've been coming here every time I've been here in Thimpu. If I'm not trekking, uh, the only place I feel very comfortable and happy hiking is this Wang Di Laka. So I would definitely reckon you all to come here. I can't justify of how peaceful and beautiful this place is unless you come and you hike yourself. So if you are in Thimpu, this is one place you must visit. If you are a foreigner watching this video, one must thing to do when you visit uh, temples, monasteries here in Bhutan is you have to remove your hat or whatever you're wearing. It is considered very impolite and inappropriate to wear this. So always remove your hat and just be nice and polite so that people like you. Really, guys, this is not beautiful. This is one of, one of the Instagrammable spots. Can you help me take picture? Those are my hiking friends, hiking partners. Oh my gosh, I'm left all alone. I fear them bears. If I'm not mistaken, this is one tree where you bump into bears sometimes so you have to always take extra precaution and I am sort of hurrying to go back home because it's already getting dark see you guys later oh. 
It's all right. I came for my daily evening walk till Sangiga Bivest Tower, but I decided to just go further because I wanted to feel more of nature. And here I am at the base of BBS Tower around this small settlement where there's tiny Laka. And from here, I'm going to go take this road and then land out there at Ombitsune. So, yeah. I'll see you guys at the other side. I better get going. I'm gonna run, run, run. All right, guys, I got back to the base and that is the starting point along the Say route. That's BBS Tower and the massive parking lot here. So from here, you go to place where I just came back from. So this is my vlog. I'll see you guys with another vlog next time. Until then, take care and stay safe. Don't forget to subscribe to Tanker's Getaway. Bye guys. Cheng ni relation de to gam ji gao me. Do a do a relation. Che da ni. Narge. Don't tell me if you fall. I'm gonna go to the perks of being in a relationship. Cool. Calvin, here we are.